And good afternoon, everybody. Um, Dominique here from Body Mind Yoga, just checking in while the house is a little bit quiet. And uh, yeah, taking full advantage of that situation doesn't happen often, it seems, lately. Um, so I just want to hop on here and talk to you about social media. So um, I love it. I use it for my business. Um, but the thing that I wanted to discuss today is a little problem I developed. Um, so especially with the um, birth of my newest little one back in December, I found myself on social media all the time. It was mostly as a way to stay awake, <laughs> especially in the wee hours, and as a way to do something that wasn't going to bother everyone else who was sleeping in the house. Um, and then it got to the point where um, I realized it was a problem when I started seeing the same posts over and over again and there was nothing <laughs> new to really see. So, um, I decided that I really have to start changing the way I think I, I do things. When it comes to my business, I also became very addicted, and I will use the word addicted because it was, I couldn't help myself. Um, I became really addicted to, okay, how many likes do I have? How many times have my videos been viewed, et cetera, et cetera. If you're hopping on live, um, feel free to say hi. And, uh, yeah, because I can't actually see who's hopping on live, so... I'd like to know you're there. Um, so yeah, so I I would be very obsessed with how many likes I have, how many views of video I had, and constantly, constantly checking in, checking in, checking in all day long. And then I realized that that was a problem when my toddler um, was trying to, you know, make sure I wasn't on the computer or making sure that I wasn't on the phone. So I really focused on scheduling times that I would focus on business and times where I would just enjoy being with my girls. So that is still a work in progress. Um, it's hard. It's hard to step away from something and I've gotten to the point where I don't check in with my likes or my views anymore. I post stories on Instagram. I don't even bother with them once they're posted because I don't want to see who's seen them, who hasn't seen them. It just doesn't really bother me anymore. But I do put things out there with the hope that it is helping somebody in some way, shape, or form. So just a few tips on um, things that I have done to try to limit my time on social media. So um, work days are a little bit different because I, I want to make sure that anybody who's trying to get on in touch with me on my work days can do so relatively quickly. So it's Tuesdays, Thursdays, and, and some Saturday mornings. But on days that I'm not working, I tend to put down my phone. <laughs> I put on the ringer and I put in another room, at least for certain periods of the day. And then if both girls are sleeping or maybe once in a while, I'll go over to my phone and check in with what I missed. And usually I didn't miss anything, so it's no big deal. So step one, just putting the phone down in another room, turning the ringer on. So if somebody does try to call you, which happens to me quite frequently, sometimes people actually do call me, um, then I can hear the, the phone ringing. And usually it's my mom. Truth be told, it's just my mom. So... <laughs> Not just my mom, but, um, yeah, so that's the only way she can really get in touch with me, so that's good. Um, another thing that I found myself doing is um, feeling kind of badly about myself in terms of where I am currently with um, my fitness, where, especially as a fitness professional, where I am in terms of my business and other things. So I went through my lists on social media, and I started just unfollowing anyone who was making me question my self-worth. So there was a lot of that. Um, at one point when I started following them, it was as an inspirational thing. Um, I really appreciated what they did. And then I also noticed that there were certain times where they were shaming people who didn't have time to do things or things that I didn't really believe in. So I'm all about supporting my fellow um, entrepreneurs and people who are in similar lines of work as me, but if it's causing me to question my self-worth, um, I won't necessarily delete, but I will at least unfollow them so their things aren't constantly popping up in my newsfeed. So that was number two. Um, number three was stopping the obsession over the likes the, and the views, which I already touched based on, uh, based on. So I just stopped checking in with that. Once I stopped checking in on it, I noticed that Instagram would like to inform me um, every once in a while how many views I had. So it wasn't too easy to walk away from that for a while, but it became more of an excitement thing. Like, oh, okay. Or really digging what I like or digging what I'm posting or whatnot. 
which funny enough, um, this only came up recently with uh, the blooper reel that I posted, which I really only started doing and put together because I randomly said during the the live video that this should be part of a blooper reel. So I thought, well, why not? I'll go through it and I'll highlight some key things. So thank you to everyone who supported and commented on that. Uh, it was a fun little piece to put together and a fun little memory to have that I've kind of tucked away. So luckily when I originally deleted it off of my Facebook page, um, I use Ecamm Live for my Facebook Live videos on my computer and it actually saves a copy of the video onto my hard drive. So I was very happy in that particular moment that it did that because I was so embarrassed that I just immediately deleted it and didn't even want to look at it. So, um, And then thank you to those who were patient with me while I also went through some technical difficulties as well. Um, when the sound was cutting out during some playback videos and photos I was doing, there were these long, awkward moments of silence. And I know some of you hopped in live during those times and probably just saw a picture with no words happening and were like, okay, what's this? And just peaced out and that's fine. So yeah, when it comes to social media, it's a great tool. Um, I traveled a lot when I was younger and in a lot of ways, it's the only way that I'm able to stay in touch with people that I've met from all around the world. So I think there are great benefits to social media. I'm not poo-pooing it at all, but there are ways that we can do it just a little more smartly and, and not have it make us feel bad about ourselves. Um, no matter where you are in your life, you know, I, I talk a lot about being a new mom because I just recently went through it again but no matter where you are in your life there's reasons that you do or you don't do the things that you do and when you're ready to make changes then you just reach out to the right people and you make those changes when you're ready but you don't need the constant reminder from people about well I did this and there's no excuse and you know work hard or you know no pain no gain which is completely other topic but I always go off on these tangents but anyways so Thank you so much for tuning in as always. I hope this um, gives you a few ideas. So again, just a little recap, my top three things of ways to kind of um, separate yourself from unhealthy relationships with social media. Number one being just put your phone down in a separate room and turn the ringer off. Even at nighttime, I, I actually put my phone in the bathroom. So if I need to use it as an alarm, the light isn't bothering me, nothing like that. Um, although when I get up in the middle of the night, I do tend to check in with it. So like I said, still a work in progress. Uh, number two is to stop following anyone that is making you question your self-worth. You are worth everything. You are doing what you do because you need to do it or because you're in the process of working things out. Whatever it is, keep doing you and don't let make anyone make you feel bad about that. It is not worth it. And number three is to just stop obsessing over the likes and the video views and all that stuff. Um, whatever you post, you make somebody laugh. You make somebody... Um, think twice about something, um, you allow somebody a glimpse into your life, or, you know, you share something that made them laugh, which I might have already said. <laughs> but, um, regardless, somebody is seeing your stuff, and um, just take confidence from the fact that you're making an impact in some way, shape, or form to somebody, and that's the big thing, and that you're just sharing the things that you love things that you feel passionate about and just have a little trust that it's the message is being received by the right people. So thank you so much for tuning in to my Facebook live video today. This is Dominique from Body Mind Yoga. Feel free to comment below with any questions, comments, concerns you may have. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day and thank you for tuning in whether it was live or through the replay. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.